And Johnson, there really are no words to describe how horrific it is. Tonight, hundreds gathered to mourn Libby Kletsky. He was kidnapped and murdered while walking home by himself for the first time. Even blocks away, the crowd spilled into the streets, as you can see from Chopper 2 HD. The boy was last seen on surveillance cameras after getting lost after leaving day camp. 35-year-old Levy Aaron has been charged with murder after Libby asked him for help. Police say Aaron took him home and killed him. We have live team coverage, including what we have learned about Aaron's past. But let's begin with CBS 2's Sean Hennessy. He is live from Borough Park tonight. Sean. Uh, Christine, good evening. This is where the funeral is just wrapping up, and the funeral turnout is so huge. Take a look. The streets have been shut down, and thousands fill them. So many have come from different parts of the state, different parts of the city, to share in the grief that has come to this tight-knit community. As the hearse carrying Libby Kletsky's body made its way to this final goodbye, a sea of thousands parted in silence. A final respectful bow to a boy who trusted a stranger and died because of it. It's just a shock. It's simply a shock. Nobody can believe it. Libby's sisters and mother entered the temple school first, then came Libby. His casket lifted above the crowd, stunned they were there, and stunned how he died. No one understands how this happened, why this happened. And you know why there was such a brutal murder. The eight year old was spotted on surveillance cameras, lost on his way home from day camp. Then again, talking to the stranger, police say killed him and dismembered his body. I'm shocked and um, it just brings me to tears just to think that something like this could have happened here. <laughs> Tonight, the rabbi cried while speaking to the crowd in Yiddish of the sacrifice this community had made, how what happened made no sense, and how Libby's family needs support now more than ever. I'm sure that they're playing things in their mind over and over again. What was the last thing I said to him? How many times did I kiss him? And I, and I hope that they don't experience guilt. Back out live in the funeral, the final prayers were being said. We're told uh, Libby's dad was one of the final speakers, and we're told he said, we expect, we accept God's decree that God gave us a wonderful child for eight years and that God giveth and God taketh it away. We have to be blessed that we had this special child for as long as we did, but we accept God's will. We're live tonight in Borough Park. Sean Hennessy, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Sean.